fun DIY projects that you can do with leftover supplies is DIY and home design expert, Hannah Sethi. Hey, Hannah. Thanks for having me on the show. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. You do such great work on your Instagram and you do so many like cool hacks. <laughs> and I love it so much. So today we're gonna yeah. be talking all about your leftover DIY supplies. Amazing. So you know you do a big home makeover, a room makeover, and you've got all these supplies and you just don't know what to do with them. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do two really fun projects today. I love that, that's amazing. So what are we starting with today? So the first one we're gonna do is a DIY art piece. Okay. This looks familiar. This looks like something when you go into like home store and it's got all those textures. Like textures are in right now, right? Yes. Yeah. And this is just made from drywall spackle. Oh. So you probably have drywall spackle left over because you painted a room mm -hmm. and you use it to fill all the holes. And now you've got this big tub, okay? Yeah. And you're like, what am I gonna do with this? Yeah. So let's do some DIY artwork. I love that because also this you try to save for a year and then it's just hard. <laughs> so using it up is a good idea, yeah. All right, so here we go, Mary. So okay. we're gonna have some fun with this. Love it. So I'm gonna plop some onto your, or do you want No, it? you okay. plop away. It looks like a big old thing of buttercream. Yeah. Don't need it, but yeah. yes, yeah. It does, right? Yeah. So here I'm gonna, and we can do lots of different fun things. We can um, also add color to it. So I've brought paint. Oh, I love that. Um, and we've got these different types of knives. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. Just. Just get into it? Yeah, get into so it. So what do I do, like scrape it around? Scrape it around. Oh my gosh. Do you yes. wanna add some color? Can I add some yes. purple? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. okay. Ooh, we're yeah, going for I'll it. Add, I'll add some of this brownish color. Oh, this is gonna be swirly and fun. I'm excited mm. about this already. Okay. All so right. you can use, well, use one of the knives to mix, oh, mix it, it, it up. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So you actually should have, I should have mixed it on a plate. <laughs> Listen, so we're, we're saving a paper plate. That's for, <laughs> that's for the cake later. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're just gonna mix it up. Amazing. And then, you oh, can. this is nice to touch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like a really therapeutic project. This is highly therapeutic. This yes. is something if you weren't here, I would just like <laughs> focus on this for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So we just grab these. So grab one of the flat edge okay. ones. We're gonna scrape, like, kind of smooth it out to start. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. This and is literally like decorating a cake. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and what's nice is because you've got the color in there, you've got like the streaks of the white coming mm -hmm. through. So it's just a lot of fun. Amazing. So we're gonna cover this whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we need more. We need let's a lot get, more. Let's go for it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna plop you up there. There you go. <laughs> well, now we're getting the purple in. Okay. We can also just like let, take a look at what we can, like a vibe check, you know what I mean? Absolutely, and the fun thing here is you, so we're smoothing it out, but if you wanted to. <laughs> no, how's it going, Mary? It's great, there's a hole in mine and it's doing like spaghetti noodles and it's very yeah. fun. Yeah. 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 And the other great thing about this is that you might have like an old canvas at home. Yeah. Like a piece of artwork that you're just like, this is not my vibe anymore, I don't like this. So just grab that and we can do this project on that too. Over top, I love yeah. that, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, now you can grab one of these. Okay. Yeah, so we can do some cool designs. And what's great is you can start working on this and if you're like, I don't like this, just smooth it out and start again. Ooh, that's fun. So no big deal, right? Ooh, I like this. Okay, cool. Yeah. This and is amazing. Yours also looks much trendier than mine. I feel like the, <laughs> the earth tones is more where it's at. Yeah. yeah. And then if you want, you could do something different too. You could also make like flowers. So I'm just gonna show you. Okay, cool. Grab one of these knives mm -hmm. and you just kind of like, kind of go into like all these different directions, you know. Oh, that's real. Oh yeah, like yeah. to make it a little natural. Yeah. So there you go. That's amazing. There you go. I right? love it and I love the color. I love the white for the people with that aesthetic, <laughs> but I tend towards clown in my decorating style. So color is where it's at. So what's the next project? That's amazing. All right, so we're gonna move on to a project where you've got some leftover wallpaper. Mm -hmm. So let's say you wallpapered your home office or your kid's room and wallpaper is really beautiful, but a little bit expensive. Totally. So let's put this to good use. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be adding wallpaper to a drawer. So you can line the front of a drawer, the sides, or even the middle, like as like a drawer line. This is key. When I moved into my first apartment, my mom was like, you need drawer liner, and I'd never heard of it before. <laughs> but it's a must in every place I've lived since then. Yes. Yeah. So this is really fun. So what you would do is you would take the front of your drawer, okay. and you gotta measure okay. what the size is. Okay. You're gonna trust my measuring skills? <laughs> Let's give it a go. Okay. We've got 70, 
centimeters point two. Seventy point two centimeters. Okay. So okay. I just made you do that, but I've actually got one pre-cut. Love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry about the actual measurement. Okay, cool. So I've got this one pre-cut, and this is a peel and stick wallpaper, which makes this project really easy. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna peel it off. It is literally like a sticker. That's amazing. And that's the thing, you always end up with leftover wallpaper because you need to buy enough so it matches the pattern. Yes. So you are, this is a good thing to do. Okay. I actually have some, ooh, this is sticky. But without the glue, much easier. Yes. Here, I'll give you a hand. Amazing. It's so long. <laughs> Perfect. So we just bring it to the front. Yeah. Let's see some teamwork here. Love it. Line her up. Ooh. <laughs> This is where you get the peel and repeal and stick paper. Yes. If you're not an expert. Okay. Like, hand, oh, no, nope, I mucked it. We can, yeah, and that's the thing, right? So here, let's, let's move it from one direction. Amazing. To the other. I can just, yeah. Oh, that looks beautiful. All right. That looks amazing. Yeah. Again, I love that. The number of, like, drawer liner papers that I have when I could have just been using my leftover wallpaper, matching my like little bird wall in my house. That would have been great. Yeah, exactly. Hannah, this was awesome. I love reusing things that we got hanging around. It's a great way to use stuff up. Thanks but, for having me on the show. Thank Mary. you so much. <laughs> hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.